is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How are you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, no, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm nico dehan welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced natural wild world to recover our health our rights and our freedoms and i'm paige clark good morning and it's a beautiful morning in downtown clear 70 no it's 66 degrees this morning cool, cool and this the humidity's morning. down for the most of the week so it feels like cali weather yeah that's kind of cool. nice. Hey, so if you guys have any questions, you can reach me at page at tfnn.com. And Nico at tfnn.com. We are taking your phone calls at 877-927-6648. So we hear a lot of things in the news about the driverless cars uh, and uh, iPhones and getting distracted because of texting. And uh, there's a certain thing that we have, uh, human beings have, called the sixth, sixth sense. And I've experienced this sixth sense myself many, many times, of course, the most most uh, easiest to relate to, I think, is where you're knitting. Yes. No, well, you're just going on automatic. Yeah, well, you know. that's kind of like when you, you almost reach a different brain wave. So we're, you're evoking your intuition. So yes. these lower brain states. And driving is one of those things, too, because we go, you know, for hundreds of mile trip, and it's not like you're paying attention to everything. We're kind of on a auto mode, and we have a unique, unique, unique ability to do that. Mm -hmm. But I've even sensed it further where I forget the whole trip. Yeah. One time, I, w I remember. Or how you got home. You know, it's, you just, it's not like you've been drinking or anything. No. But you get home and you're like, I don't really remember driving home. You just well, do I had everything a on real autopilot. Big, uh, incident like this. I think I was about 19, maybe 20. Uh, I was already out of high school, and I was driving back to London, Ontario. I was living in uh, Ann Arbor at the time, mm -hmm. and I drove to London. And on my way back, it was around probably 8 o'clock at night, so it was a two-hour drive. And I get on the 401 freeway, and I look up. And it says Windsor, Windsor, next exit. That's like I went 120 miles. And you were just kind of like in your own zone. I had no idea where I was, what I was doing. Uh, I all of a sudden just woke up right there at the exit. And I mean, I just the last thing I remembered, I was going off the exit at, uh, at London. And I goes, whoa, <laughs> what a freaky thing. I remember telling my dad about it. And he says, yeah, he says, that happens too. Well, whenever we're talking about that sixth, sixth sense yeah. i believe that's when we're evoking our our kind of our spiritual sense and our intuition and we need to get more towards that but what was interesting about this was these researchers took a look at um this article was in science daily the sixth sense protects drivers except when texting except when texting. and you know we're always talking about don't drive when you're mad don't drive when you're angry or or or, or sleepy or whatever but it talked about the fact that when you have emotional charge things or distractions, mm -hmm. there's still this connection, this sixth sense that you know keeps you safer. Yes. But that when we text, that sixth sense is turned off. I thought that was just fascinating. Yeah, and this experiment or research was done at the University of Houston, and there were 59 volunteers who were asked to drive the same segment of the highway four times under normal conditions of being focused while driving while distracted with cognitive challenging questions, while distracted and emotionally charged questions, and while occupied with texting trivialities to avoid bias, the order of the drives was ran randomized. And they did all these three different interventions, which absent-mindedness, emotional, and texting, uh, you know, those three things. And they found that the driver's handling of the wheel became jittery with respect to normal driving. Yeah, and it was funny. It said a likely explanation for this paradox is a function performed by a part of our brain. Uh, it's, it's called the ACC, uh, the anterior cingulate cortex, and it's known to intervene as an error corrector mm -hmm. when there is conflict. And in this case, this conflict comes from the cognitive, emotional, and sensorial or texting stressors. And this raises the levels of physiological stress and activates the fight or flight, uh, resulting in jittery hands of the <coughs> steering wheel. 
However, the end effect of this forceful action nullifies any veering to the left or right. It's, it, it kind of does a counterbalance. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very interesting that we're built to use our a different sense and stay safe. Well, this reminds me of the type of thing that uh, you can always go home. In other words, we don't need to remember where we live. We automatically can go there most of the time from just about anywhere. Almost like homing pigeons. Yeah, we're we like homing know pigeons. Where it is. I think ancestral men always had that. And I remember my wife Ellen always telling me, well, you always seem to know how to get out of here. And you, you know, know what, though? What? That just made me remember something else I think we should talk about. I think we might have talked about it before when you said ancestral men. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of research about the long hair and that the hair is an extension of the nervous system mm -hmm. and that Indians and so forth and hunters, that was a big part of their homing and their ability to find things. And that our, the United States Army knows this, that mm -hmm. they would hire scouts. And when they cut their hair, they'd lose their ability, but if they let them grow their hair. Yeah, maybe that why, that's why in the in the Bible there's a story about uh, the guy who Samson, grew, Samson who right. grew his hair long. He and lost his strength. Lost his strength. So it that, is. Maybe that's the analogy in there. I'd like to talk about I that. I always liked long hair. I had long hair when I was uh, younger, and uh, I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Of course, that was kind of a statement at that time. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah well, I think, uh, you know, getting back to this, uh, it, I think I have the cure, actually. What's I that? think if you can, uh, if you can knit and text, then you can drive and text, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> that's that's that impossible. To do. Yeah. Exactly. So you know, they say that following up on the results of the scientific study, they're currently looking at the development of car systems to monitor outward driving behaviors such as steering, jittery, or lane deviation, as well as the internal state of the driver that causes them. And, and this system, they're going to call it the stressalizer. Uh, will you know, it's going to pay. It's kind of a play on words. Like mm -hmm. the breathalyzer may serve not only as a black box in car accidents, but also as a driver alert and prevention mechanism, since it will continuously sense a driver's drifting to distracted mode. And we're seeing those things happening. Uh, I know. I Tom, have one in my car. Yeah, and it's Tom like a little coffee cup. He's got a new car. Yeah. He's he's got a thing that he says he can latch onto a car in front of him and take him anywhere he wants to go on the highway. It follows the road. His new Mercedes. So. Latch onto the car in front yeah, of you. Yeah, the, the thing kind of latches onto the car, and you know, I mean, it doesn't latch. It's almost it's like not cruise, physically. No, it's like cruise control. Yeah, but you're kind of following that car, so in the city, you can kind of latch onto different cars, but on the highway, they have the actual yeah. markers there, which are easier to follow from. Well, the, I have it in my little car. Uh, yeah. Mercedes has a little coffee cup, mm -hmm. and if it, you know, it's like it's, it's, simu you know, it's simulating uh, being awake mm -hmm. or being alert. Mm -hmm. And if they pick up on certain movements, right. it's very much like this. They, out. Yeah. Gonna, it's going to send an alert to you that, hey, wake up or yeah. pay attention. Well, that's, that's the future. Luckily, luckily, it hasn't happened yet. So I must be <laughs> That you me. know of, I've been, of course. I've been yeah. focusing. You know my little coffee cup hasn't binged at me or anything. So I must be... Staying, that, I must be staying focused. <laughs> I guess so. Well, you seem focused this morning, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, we have these neat abilities uh, to kind of go on automatic mode, but it's important to know that some things do disrupt it, whether it's emotional or not. But texting definitely does disrupt it. So And does make uh, you unsafe. When, so, yeah. you know, texting is not cool when we're driving. And yeah, we in that. fact, uh, I think in the future you may have a possibility of shutting those things off automatically. Maybe it won't work the in the car. That's and it's right. good uh, to take a break, too. Too, uh, you know, from texting, but yeah. also take disconnect a break to reconnect, as we That's always right. say. And the number here is 877-927-6648. Please pick up some Primal Edge. Please pick up our newsletter, which is a new one coming out uh, at the first of the month. So uh, get ready for that, folks. Paige and I will return momentarily. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Paige Clark and Nico DeHaan. We're exploring how to return to a natural wild world. And, you know, we don't think that GMOs are part of the wild world. And this is um, an well, article. they definitely weren't. No, exactly. So uh, I wanted to share this uh, research that came out, article that came out from MillionsAgainstMonsanto.com. And before I get into that article, there was a headline. I tried to click on it during the break. That was in Tampa Bay Business News yesterday. Bayer, the big conglomerate, chemical pharmaceutical conglomerate, offers to buy Monsanto for $62 billion. Yeah, I think Bayer is one of the largest companies, so that would this would make it into probably uh, the largest company in the world as far as pesticides Chemicals and, and pesticides and, and, and pharmaceuticals yeah. and so forth. It really, gosh, it sounds like we might get into a situation where what we end up having is like the fox guarding the hen house. Yeah, in a sense, one of what disturbs me most about Monsanto is the ability to make seeds not uh, part of life. In other words, they close the life cycle. That the seed, that the the, the, pl the plant that the seed produce, it, the, its seeds will not grow new plants. No, they design that so that the farmers have to come back. Can't come back and buy. Back so there's an buy. economical reason for that. It has nothing to do with our health. It has nothing to do with safety. And making a plant not produce, to me, it goes against all nature because the reason we're on planet Earth, plants, animals, is to reproduce. It's not and, nice to fool with Mother and Nature. And Mother Nature kind of uh, goes and uh, ignores you after you're... Uh, through reproducing. It's not that concerned anymore because the life cycle is open and mm -hmm. it remains open. I think that's really part of this whole thing that disturbs me is because there are actually, you know, we've often said that the wild is better as far as nutrition is concerned mm -hmm. uh, and this is completely the opposite direction. So because we domesticate things uh, normally just by looking at it, tasting it and saying, okay, the sweet one, let's reproduce that one. But now when you actually put foreign material in there, both plant and animal, then you're really messing with things that we don't know much about and we certainly don't know the consequences just on that basis alone besides all these studies. That's just 
Well, the debates Parker. rage, of course, um, and mainstream uh, news usually reports that, you know, genetic modification is going to save and feed the world. Right. I, I happen to not be on that side of the fence. I mm -hmm. happen to believe it's the opposite, that we're going to save the world by feeding ourselves, mm -hmm. and it begins in our backyard, that's like right. Liam, Shay, that's right. our friend, yeah, talks about. It's not about. agriculture that's going to save us, it's learning how to grow and cook. Exactly, and taking care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the biotech companies have been claiming that this is going to help us out, but, you know, what we've got to take a look at is some of the studies that are that are emerging that show and prove mm -hmm. that genetically modified foods are destroying our health. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, I want to interject before we go into this, okay. Nico, because you actually um, you know, brought up a technology that I'm very interested in, the Beamer technology, yes. which is a European technology. And I want you to come to the presentation about the Beamer because they explain that this new technology is emerging mm -hmm. as a result of the government spent $250 million to develop a new technology. This does not have to do with the Beamer, <coughs> I'm just saying this. Okay. But it was a technology to explore uh, and prove the unique benefits uh, what has to do with microcirculation as in respect to the Beamer. But what has been a result of this technology, and it's called vital microscopy, mm -hmm. vital microscopy, its ability to see down into the bottom of the microcapillaries, what they're seeing is the, in addition to looking at circulatory issues, they're seeing the obvious damage that genetically modified foods are doing down at the cell level. So the, you're it's talking, no denying and There's it. a connection between the beamer because they can actually see the capillaries vibrate under the regulation of the beamer. In other words, you have a treatment and then you can actually see this thing. Well, vibrate. what you're seeing is you're seeing the improvement, mm -hmm. uh, the support, right. and we have to watch what we say about this because they're, you know, that we're seeing an improvement in circulatory, you know, better circulation and these kind of things. But what has been a side effect of this technology that was developed mm -hmm. in Germany to figure out how we can, you know, because in Germany, they pay for health care. They actually want people to get well. Isn't that neat? They actually want us to figure out how they can lower costs and improve outcomes. Well, uh, you know, that really happened. If you have, Did you see the movie? Uh, it's called uh, Brexit. Brexit? Yeah, Brexit. It's on YouTube, a full movie. We're getting off in di different tangents, yeah, but well, stick well, with us, folks, well, well, because this is important. Brexit is a movie about uh, what the, U, uh, the EU has done to Britain. Okay, so Britain is now going to be voting on whether they're getting out of the EU and what's what mm -hmm. is happening, and they're really talking about all the policies that the Britons really don't have any say in whatever. They can't fish in their old areas anymore because somebody from Greece might be doing that because of because of the EU. But they stayed in there in the EU, in the Brexit uh, Brex, Brexit yeah uh, all these things that you're talking about now. How mm -hmm. it's being stifled. Everything is, and, and Germany. The reason Germany went off and did all these great things is because the guy who was in charge of Germany right after the war deregulated everything, mm -hmm. got rid of all the deregulation. Mm -hmm. No wonder Germany was able to bounce back. And Britain was saying we are over. Everybody else was overregulated. Mm. So the loser got to spread the wealth and have everybody working and innovating things where all these other countries were under a kind of a yoke with more and more restrictions. Well, let me get back yeah. to what you're saying. Let me get back to what the reason I got off on that tangent about this technology called vital microscopy is that there is knowledge that there's only two of these um, microscopes. Mm -hmm. It was a joint venture with the German government and the Zeitz Corporation, you know, the, the lens company. Mm -hmm is that they can see with beyond a doubt that these GMOs, and there'll be no question, and I guess there's major universities, you know, Harvard, I mean, all these places are going to have them in mm -hmm. this next two years. They're going to be everywhere, and, you know, we're going to have even more proof of the damage. Yeah. So let's talk well, a little bit the, about these 40 different studies Well, with that are the proving. GMOs, what's happened most of the time is that the studies were done by the agriculture company itself. Oh, yeah, or Fox by, gaining the, or, guarding the hen Or house. by a university or other company that is... Uh, uh, giving, getting mo Had money. Had a financial incentive to, to produce so the results. You always have to look at that and say, wait a minute here. But if you get independent stuff, and this is what we're talking about now. Yeah, and some of these new studies.
studies are showing that GMOs are even worse than what was originally feared. Um, there's a Dr. Kruger's research that shows how chronically ill people have higher glyphosate levels than healthier people. And that has a lot to do with our inability to detoxify from the toxic glyphosate. This is the chemical that's in Roundup that is destroying our gut lining and, and creating poor juncture in, yeah. our, in, our, in our gut. There was a study that showed a wide range of toxic effects, including DNA damage, abdominal, uh, abdominal sperm, uh, fl uh, blood changes, and damage to the liver, the kidneys, and the testes. All, all bad areas to have problems in. And they're finding out, folks, that uh, they're not having to do long-term studies to see the damage of GMOs. They're just showing, they're seeing that uh, rats that are fed GMO soy and GMO corn for one to three months are developing these grotesque tumors. In that article, mm -hmm. um, is there a picture of it? I mean, I actually posted something on Facebook that shows the, mm -hmm. um, the extent of these tumors that are growing, but what we have to understand is we know now that glyphosate and these these uh, chemicals are actually creating pesticides, you know, in the fields, and they're actually becoming pesticides in our bodies. And why in the world would we want to be killing off our microbiome? As we know, that's where so much is going on. Yeah. So if you want to really help yourself, folks, uh, pick up some Primal Edge. This is something that has no GMOs in it. It's a liquid, very easy to taste. It tastes good. Uh, it's a one-shot wonder. And, uh, you know, you need to really get this. It's a daily supplement, $89 to bring to your door. Also, the other thing that we have, of course, is our Health Signals newsletter coming out twice a month on the first and third Tuesday of every month. And on the first Tuesday of next month, you'll have another issue. And uh, I'm working on it right now. So please uh, give us a call, 877-927-6648, as we continue with health. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com.
we the people are being cajoled, frightened and bullied into surrendering our democracy and freedom. This film is a rallying cry. We must fight for our independence, for the right to determine ourselves, the laws under which we live, and for the freedom to shape our own future. This is the most important voting decision that any of us is going to make in our lifetime. With general elections, it doesn't really matter who you vote for, Conservative or Labour, because you know that in four years' time, you can change your mind. This time, you can't change your mind. This time is for keeps. In this film, we'll see how the EU works. It's like heaven for the politician or bureaucrat because it's power without accountability. It was devised to make sure that the great mass of the people could not control government ever again. The EU is turning into a dictatorship and this is not um, overstating it. We will see what the EU has done to Britain. The EU has just obliterated the English fishing industry altogether. The European policies that we face are really the single biggest threat to our competitiveness. We'll see why Fortress Europe has been such a calamity for the European economy. What we see is the EU bringing up the drawbridge. The European Union has become an economic basket case. Certainly it is not in our economic interests to remain within the European Union. No way. We will look at the risks of tying our fate to the failing EU. Extremism at both ends is being fostered by the anti-democratic nature of the European Union. Far from being it safer for us to be in the EU, there are dangers that go along with us being members of the EU, being dragged into situations we don't want to get in. And we look at how independence could transform Britain. We have huge scope, huge scope for creating vast numbers of new jobs. Outside Europe, we could have prosperity on a level that we can't even imagine now. We're being asked to give up the right to govern ourselves. What are we being offered in return that could possibly be worth it? Just shows utter contempt for what they think people are like because they really do believe that these little trinkets are going to buy us off. What really matters is that you should have the power to remove the people who govern you. Okay, we're back. Uh, that was the uh, trailer for that uh, movie called Brexit. Uh, that's B R Exit. Uh, Britain exit the mm -hmm. EU and the reason I thought it was interesting because of course we're making the same trade deals when we talk, when Obama goes around or whoever's going to be president does these types of trade deals it uh, really restricts us much more over here and uh, it leaves open uh, we're going to be sharing everything and uh, that may not be a good idea so and in the chat room of course we have the, our wonderful producers uh, here uh, and I call them producers because they give us stuff. Uh, a 5,000 year old Chinese beer recipe revealed. And you know what that really shows us, folks, is that uh, the primal way of pre properly preparing foods, yes, it indicates that grain had been introduced as a staple, as the comment was made, but it was also the way they were using this grain. They were mm -hmm. fermenting it, they were right. soaking things, they were preparing these things so that we could digest them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. five thousand year old beer, I like it. So cheers. <laughs> no cans, just <laughs> bottles, folks. Exactly. <laughs> so I want to kind of go to this article, following up with a little bit of what we talked about the damage that our guts are seeing from glyphosate, and there was another comment from Bo Rare, uh, the fact that originally glyphosate was a pipe cleaner, <clears throat> and if you can imagine that pulled the uh, metals out of the the pipes you can imagine what it's doing to the essential metals and elements that we have in our body and mm -hmm. that's exactly true yep. it is a chelator it's a chelator of of um, our it's a pesticide and a sterilizer of of our our, um, our biome and it's it's a disaster for all of us yep. so along those same lines science daily antibiotics that kill your gut bacteria also stop the growth of new brain cells. Well, we know, folks, that you know the gut is actually the second brain. Yeah, many people the, call it that. Yeah, yeah, and what's going on in our gut is going to have an impact on our brains. And we found that prolonged antibiotic treatment might impact brain function. This is a senior author um, uh, for molecular medicine in Berlin, Germany. But probiotics and exercise can balance brain plasticity and should be considered as a real treatment option. Yeah, so, so when in the, this day and age where a lot of uh, drugs are being prescribed by doctors, one of the things I would highly recommend is not to take antibiotics unless it's a complete last resort that's going to save your life. Uh, this uh, 
practice that we've had over the last 20 years of having antibiotics used for the flu and for all kinds of different things is not good. However, uh, in cases where it may save your life and you don't have another choice, maybe that's the thing to do. So uh, there's an often big discussions about this. I've used antibiotics in the past and I feel they may have saved my life, but do I truly know? That's the real question. I don't know. Well, luckily, the, side, the adverse side effects of some antibiotics can be reversed, and usually when we repopulate. But, folks, what, this is one of the things we want to know. We get marginal results. As a practitioner, uh, uh, some of our think tank groups, we know that there's a limit to um, our ability to repopulate. After all, many probiotics are limited to four or five species, and we really have more like 34, and we have tons millions. of different species. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, billions of of, of probiotics, and I want to tell you that where you might take uh, a probiotic capsule and get um, billions of probiotics in that sold probiotic, you take a teaspoon of a kraut, sauerkraut, mm -hmm. and you're getting trillions. Yeah. And so, and at a much more economical value. So, I'm really going to encourage you to look to the fermented foods. There's a lot of wisdom in fermented foods, whether it be beer or sauerkraut or yeah. kombuchas. And I have a great recipe for making sauerkraut. In fact, I'm going to put it in the next uh, a new Health Signals newsletter. It's uh, really good. Uh, in the chat room, Fletch is saying everybody in the world is drinking less alcohol besides the Americans. Hmm. Well, we need more alcohol over here. I'm telling you what's going on here. Okay, that's, well, for sure. that's for sure. You know, <laughs> but so alcohol, I don't think, is a bad thing. You can certainly o overuse it, and people are... Uh, uh, are uh, allergic to it, but uh, if you're not, I think one or two drinks in a, in a in a week, or maybe three or four drinks in a week, is not going to hurt you at all. And, and plenty of studies have proven that. Well, what I'm also wanting people to keep in mind is that as we introduce, what we want to do is keep balance in our microbiome. And cutting edge research that I'm doing in my group is that that really it's not just the probiotic, it's not just the exercise, it's constantly in, you know, giving diet variety, if you mm -hmm. would, introducing a variety of species, just as you would. One of the best ways to get probiotic and bacteria is actually through the air, by grounding in the earth, by digging. You know, one of the best therapies is digging in your garden it's because you're just getting dirty. Yeah. yeah, getting dirty and breathing in. And um, a, a fantastic scientist who's done a lot of research um, is Dr. Zach Bush. Uh, he's a doctor in Virginia, and he has a product that's really based on the power of the fulvic humix, mm -hmm. but a special process. I hope that I'm going to be able to interview him soon. But his product is helping perform what we call redux signaling in the microbiome and helping us to... Uh, help these probiotics g get a better balance of the good guys and the bad guys, yeah. and this is where the science is going. Uh, in the new study, uh, the researchers gave a group of mice enough antibiotics for them to become nearly free of intestinal microbes. Compared to the untreated mice, the mice who uh, lost their healthy gut uh, bacteria performed worse in memory tests and shows loss of neurogenesis, which is the uh, activation of new brain cells, mm -hmm. in a section of the hippocampus that typically produces new brain cells throughout the individual lifetime. That's right. And there's more here too, but uh, we're, not, we're running out of time here, so please stick around folks. Uh, we will be right back. The number here is 877-927-6648. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. You know, Beauvoir says in the chat room, anyone who wants a billion dollar idea, simply market a probiotic line that will target the top antibiotics and help people overcome the effects of medicine as a practice today. Uh, agree with you folks. We've got to start uh, taking care of the gut. I uh, mentioned Dr. Zach Bush's work. The product is Restore, and I think it's as close to anything we've got like that. Dr. Zach Bush is actually using, but this should also make you all, all want to get our primal edge because his research is based on the power of the humates and what we built the primal edge on. And um, But he's doing fabulous work in helping to repair the tight junctions in our gut that are being damaged by the glyphosate. Think of tight junctions as creating the leaky gut. When we repair the tight junctions, the it also has the function of improving cell communication between the cells and between the microbiota yeah. so that they can say, hey, we need more of these guys and more of, you know, and less of these. So this is fascinating research. Uh, I do carry Restore if you'd like to um, try it. I offer specials for TFNN people. Of course you do. Uh, but, um, you know, <coughs> check out the website, Restore for Life. Restore, the number for life. Uh, let me know if I can help you out. Uh, there's an article here uh, that says nearly all scientific papers are controlled by the same six companies. Of course, we have this going on everywhere. Uh, I had this wonderful cable company, Verizon, that really gave clear pictures. Everything was working good. Great little app. You can even record stuff on your apps and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and all of a sudden and Frontier comes in and yeah, buys them out. And now that. Bright House is being uh, 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 bought by Charter, I guess. Or uh, there's all kinds of things coming in, and this has been the story ever since. We, you know, what Bob was great? Pac-Man. Yeah, we, we. The great thing about America was so the diversity that Europe used to have hundreds and hundreds of years ago, where little villages were quaint, and you would go into them, and there'd be diversity there. And now everything's the same. You know, the worst thing in the American cities is you go to American City, you know where you are because there's a McDonald's, there's a Burger King, there's a, a Kmart, there's a Target. They all look the same. There's nothing that looks different. That's why going to places like Sedona or something that has a different type of atmosphere uh, is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but in in the scientific community, when the same six companies who are owned by these large companies, remember the new the companies that are doing the research and printing this research are just like newspapers. We used to have four or five newspapers here in the Tampa Bay area, and now we got ma just one besides the Beach News. Well, just as it says, yeah. there's just six corporations. This kind of yeah. goes along the same lines. I think I shared that quote with you all. 
uh, about the chief editor of the New England Journal of Medicine who said after 20 years she came to the conclusion that she could no longer rely on any of the research published in the New England Journal of Medicine due to the fact that there's this this influence from industry and lobbyists and this we continue to see. And there's an a, uh, infogra infographic uh, is really graphic. a great way to see it. There's six companies and you, you wouldn't even realize that uh, these these organizations, uh, many people may not have even heard of them, but the power they wield. Let's go through it. It's the ACS Chemistry for Life. Yeah, these are companies that are with them, the Journal of Organic Chemistry, the Journal of... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Protecting the chemi chemical industry. Then there's Sage, and this is this is uh, talking about uh, psychology, neuroscience, etc. Yeah, these titles all sound nice, and then you go over to Sage and look on the board of directors there, and you find uh, lots mm -hmm. of things that may, may shock Taylor you. Taylor and Francis Group I, uh, I looks like cybernetics, those. robotics, uh, technology. The Springer, Springer has to do with uh, molecular biology, looks like plant life, and the American Journal of Medicine, Energy. Or Reed Elsevier, you know, uh, and Wiley Blackwell. I mean, these are just companies that we've never really heard of, but their sphere of influence and their control over what actually gets disseminated is astronomical. So, you know, I made I made a comment um, in social media this last week that, um, in light of a lot of this, maybe we need to stop. You know, when someone says to me. Is it evidence-based and peer-reviewed? I'm like, huh, what does that mean? What does that buy you anymore? Evidence and peer-reviewed means it's usually bought and paid for by some organization, maybe right. one of these six corporations. However, maybe this is going to mean that we're going to have a return to the ancient, like the beer that we just found, you know, to the primal, to the, I'm going to call it folk medicine, to grandma's um, anecdotal cures because maybe we're going to look for things and see what really works just by pure let's see what it looks like and let's see if we get a result let's see if we believe we can get a result what do you think of that I like it maybe the whole idea is we have to now balance what is supposed to be evidence-based and presented to us in the media knowing that a lot of that is skewed towards somebody lining somebody's pocket concerns me I agree with you 100%. Let's see, the chat room wants this link here, so let me see if I can bring it over here. Nope. Yeah, maybe staffed by yeah. Monsanto employees. That's exactly right. Um, you know, there's a lot of power wield wielded by these corporations. So I think we have to, it, it used to be that people would say, well, I need to make sure that this is supported with research. And that's my whole point, for it, folks. If we can't trust the research, where do we go? And I think it's going back to some basic things. And, right. and looking at things that work when we just try them. You I know? like it. You know, if lavender helps you sleep, we know that there's lots lavender of evidence. and honey. Yeah, if we know there's lots of evidence that it that's there. Yeah. But now let's not just look at the evidence and the research because somebody might have bought and paid for that. Let's just say, does it work? Yeah. Does it harm us? Another no. thing, too, is uh, most of the uh, stuff that the uh, GMO and these companies uh, are writing papers about are a lot of the food that is really excluded from our diet as and purposely so. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about uh, things that are ma manipulated, we're talking about grains, we're talking about farm-grown fish, we're talking about uh, maybe cattle that are, are in the factory farms. So these are the things that are purposely left out of the primal diet, uh, and I think that uh, that's a good thing for us, for sure. Well, we know for sure that when we take a look at foods, foods that are organically grown as opposed to the GMO foods, mm -hmm. th there's almost a completely different nutritional content. And this is having the ramifications as we continue to be. This we saw even in Pottinger's cats, even before GMOs were found. Uh, Francis Pottinger, the doctor at the turn of the century, was comparing animals that were raised on food that was in its natural state compared to foods that had been processed. And he saw DNA degradation, mm -hmm. a change in the species. Yeah. So you could say that in, uh, I think it was four to five generations, these cats were, you know, and, you know, cats breed yeah. fairly. But let's talk about our generations. Are we coming close to the fourth or fifth generation since we've introduced these? I'd say, what are we going to look like? Let's take a look at what our species, let's, let's look at our species back in 1900 even. You know, you know we're, we're, did we see this obese uh, epidemic that's, that we see now? What no. do people look like? 
They yeah. looked a lot different. They looked a lot different. So now, yeah, because you, I remember when I lived in Sudbury, and first contact I had with people who were really heavy was then. I didn't notice it in Hall, and of course I was real small. Probably they wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. But I remember at the end of the block, before the wilderness, there was a family there that had like 13 kids. Mm -hmm. And most of them were real heavy. Of course, they were eating cheaper food. Even back then, that probably was impacting them a lot more because the only person who were working was the father at that time. Right. He had to support 14, 15 people, including himself. Wow. So it was a lot. But they were fun people, too, and they were happy. Yeah. That was, that was a whole big thing. Maybe it was because they were living at the end of the block near the wilderness. Maybe that was it. Maybe that's it. Maybe they actually <laughs> got to get a forest bath every once in a yeah, while and get knows? grounded. But yeah. we got to take a little break here. So, yeah. you know, make sure you connect with us. Pick up a bottle of our Primal Edge and stay grounded and healthy nutrition that you can use. And give us a call at 877-927-6648. And pick up uh, our Health Signals newsletter, too. We'll be right back. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Join Join John Logan as he teaches you trading techniques utilizing the TAS Profile Scanner, the Global Market Pulse, next on TFNN. Welcome back to the show, folks. Uh, I've got this article here that uh, says uh, Australian archaeologists have discovered a piece of the world's oldest axe in a remote Kimberley region of Western Australia. What's really cool about this uh, page is that uh, they've dated this back to 49 to uh, 45 to 49,000 years ago or soon after that. And before that time, uh, this probably pushes things back maybe 10 or 15,000 years uh, where they've, I mean, before this and even in uh, 
just goes to show we can't really trust our uh, history books either. Well, I think we're <laughs> discovering things all the time. There's no doubt about it. Uh, you know, uh, they're digging up more and more of these pyramids around the world. And all you have to do is uh, put new pyramid in Google search, and all of a sudden you'll find all kinds of things. Some of them conspiracy theories, but some of them, I mean, there are thousands of pyramids everywhere. And uh, Oh, the pyramids were really built by ancient civilizations who visited Earth, I believe, mm -hmm. or ancient cultures, you know, we're not, things have been around a lot longer than we've been led to believe. Well, it seems to be the case, uh, following the, uh, the uh, Thunderbolts project and uh, the Electric Universe, uh, we really uh, get a completely different uh, a version of history. Have you and seen some of these underwater pyramids, too? Yeah. They're just amazing. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine posted on Facebook, he's from Serbia, and uh, posted a picture of a mountain, and I said, "Looks like a pyramid." He liked my, you know. I yeah. Said, you know, it's a quite lot of obvious. them do. And yeah. A lot of them in China, they're finding they're unearthing them in Vietnam now. So there is something that happened here, and I think uh, uh, Graham Hancock may be correct when he says that uh, we're probably a species with amnesia, and uh, you know, there's a lot of things. not remembering. What not remembering. Yeah, happening. before the Ice Age, uh, I think memories were wiped out. So that uh, period uh, after 10,000 years ago, or after 12,000 years. Years ago, we don't know much about, and uh, certainly the content of the uh, the continent of um, North America was devastated by a meteorite. We know that pretty much now for a fact, and that hit the ice shields, and that was a two-mile ice shield. And of course, the water from that is what uh, was flooding uh, the whole world, perhaps, and uh, certainly wiped out a lot of the fauna here. Uh, you know, all the large animals from North America were gone. Where in Africa they still existed, so mm -hmm. apparently it didn't reach there. Uh, this is an interesting thing. Uh, I'll just show you. A yeah, while you're looking at that, he says uh, nowhere else in the world do you get axes at this date. And uh, in Japan, they found axes that dated about 35,000 years ago. But in most countries in the world, uh, they arrived, they weren't finding axes until uh, the time of agriculture or Around you 10, know 10,000 years, years ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is before agriculture, definitely, and there's a lot of things that happened before agriculture. In fact, uh, Golepi Tepe, which is in Turkey, that uh, new site that they discovered in the 1990s, and now they found over 50 stone circles, and probably there's hundreds of them, and these were deliberately buried, so they think. So there's a lot of things, and uh, as uh, the chat room says, also in the American Midwest, certainly, uh, mm -hmm. you can go to the Grand Canyon, many things look like pyramids there. And, uh, oh, there's. if you yeah. do a search um, of a map of the world's pyramids, you'll see that there was uh, a method to the madness, so to yeah. speak, and that the belief is that many of these are, are, are placed on certain energy centers. Think of, uh, you know, we have meridians in our body right. where we have certain points that are... Yeah, you know, and the Earth has the same thing. Same thing, exactly. the grid. Mm -hmm. yeah. So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, you know, I keep digging into this stuff because uh, really this is my passion, and uh, I just love finding it. And Australia has been kind of uh, left out of the market for a long time in the sense of what they're finding now is completely different than what we thought was was happening. And people arrived there a lot uh, longer ago than they think. And of course, they, it was very much closer to the mainland. Uh, thousands of years ago too. Just so, ties into yeah. our talk folks we have to have our eyes wide open not our eyes wide shut. Uh, the information we're getting may or may not be true to your own research. Yeah and empowered. it's exciting stuff I think this is what exactly. the, uh, is a passion for me and uh, bringing it to you is uh, much more of a passion so thanks a lot for sticking around folks. Uh, we'll be we'll back uh, the for the next show and please pick up some of our products the Primal Edge the newsletter and we'll see you next time. Stay healthy. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. 
Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.